Damn, a high school football team that has a 151 winning game streak. I don't think any team is going to beat that streak for a very, 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 very long time. Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review When the Game Stands Tall. So, When the Game Stands Tall stars Jim Caviezel, Alexander Ludwig, Michael Chiklis, Laura Dern, and Clancy Brown. This film is about a high school football team that has had a 151 winning game streak. They've just been unstoppable and it might have to deal with the fact that it's all based around family. From where they come from, winning isn't everything. It's all about your family, your friends, even the ones that aren't related to you could be considered your family. And then one day their winning streak loses and it has an effect on the team. Honestly, going into When the Game Stands Tall, I was curious to see it. I mean, I enjoy these sports biography films, the based on true story ones, the really inspirational ones. I was actually quite happy I got to see this film one month early. And so, after seeing When the Game Stands Tall, I will say the movie has really good messages about family, and how winning is in everything. The football games are very exciting. There are good performances. But this film itself isn't very memorable. It's not one of the best sports biography films I've seen. Definitely not one of the more memorable ones. But this film does have its fair share of good moments. As I just said right now, all the performances are really good. Jim Caviezel as his football coach does a really good job. Same with Laura Dern who plays his wife. Alexander Ludwig does a really good job in the film. And then, of course, Clancy Brown. Clancy Brown voices Mr. Krabs in my favorite cartoon of all time. Spongebob Squarepants and to see him play Alexander Ludwig's father who is very unlikable he did a very good job. Another thing I want to compliment about this film is actually the football games are really exciting they are intense and actually every time someone gets tackled or pushed it really hurts you like you could literally feel the crack it actually sounded realistic and that's one of the things i do want to compliment the film for it's the sound effects and it just sounded really good i did really care for the characters i thought all the actors did a good job trying to make you care for the characters and i honestly did now my problems were when the game stands tall comes in is that one of the biggest things this film suffers from is the pacing the pacing in this film is really out of place. It feels so rushed. And when a situation happens, it doesn't give you enough time to even feel because the movie shifts to another scene very quickly. So it's hard to get emotional during this film. It's hard to feel when it's just rushing scene by scene. Like, I cared about the characters. I connected with the characters. I was on board with the characters the whole time of the film. It's the situation. It was really hard to get really invested into the storyline. And I feel like the movie itself kind of got lost on how to really tell this story. Not only do some of the moments feel very rushed, but how it edits to that next scene, to that next scene, to that next scene, it just felt a little bit out of place to me. Like Clancy Brown, he did do a good job with the role of Alexander's father, but he's the same cliched character, oh no, I want my son to win, everything is winning, and if, if he doesn't win, he's gonna disappoint me. You know, he plays one of those cliched characters. He did a very good job with it, but the character itself is pretty cliché. Also, there's Jim Caviezel's son. It's like the movie forgot about him. We barely see the son, and every time Jim Caviezel's son pops up, I'm all like, oh yeah, that character, I forgot about him. Um, who is he? Oh yeah, the football coach's son, huh? Oh yeah. And like I said, the storyline itself is just really difficult to get invested in. Like, it's not terrible. The storyline is just there. It's just there to tell the story. So overall, when the game stands tall, 
It has very good messages about how winning is not everything, your family, how your family will be there for you, even the ones that aren't related to you, is your family. It's always about family. Always stick together. It actually has a couple of inspirational moments that actually did hit me. The football games were really good. The acting was actually good as well. And I did care about the characters, but I couldn't get into the situations. The storyline is just there. The pacing is rushed in some moments, very out of place. The editing felt very choppy at some points. But I mean, When the Game Stands Tall definitely isn't bad. I was entertained watching the film. I know my buddy Serrano J, who went to the screen with me, really enjoyed it. Me, it was just alright. So I'm going to give When the Game Stands Tall two and a half out of four stars. It's not very memorable. It's definitely not one of the best sports biography films I've seen, but you know, it does have its fair share of good moments. If you are interested in seeing When the Game Stands Tall though, the movie comes out on August 22nd. I am 22 Tiger Dude! Don't forget, the owl always have Tiger Power!